We got a lot to talk about oh, today. We have a lot to talk about. I'm Man, so our, what excited. Is, what is our lives? But we it's, we, it's we really crazy. out here doing shit. We really are. It's, really it might are. not be the best shit, but shit's being done. Exactly. It's crazy that we're not even like over. Uh, what's the word? Drum over drum dramatic, over dramatizing over dra- over dramatizing <laughs> over dramatizing. It's like it's real shit. It's real right. stories. Exactly. It's, it's really fucking. Oh, cool. should we jump right? I don't even want to wait. Let's not drag this out. Let's jump right into it. Let's baby. jump right Hit into the intro. it. Hit the intro. It's coffee talk, bitch. Uh uh-uh. uh, <laughs> not plastic, baby. Hit the hit the. Oh, okay, sorry. Wow. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Thank you guys for tuning in again. We really appreciate it. We're your hosts, Zane and Heath. <laughs> and, and Heath and Zane. And Heath and Zane. Zane Yo. And Heath. We got a fun podcast for you. Hope you guys are having a beautiful Monday morning already. If not, we're going to cheer you right up, baby. What are you guys doing right now? Are you driving? Are you doing laundry? Are you working out? Going to school? You know what's crazy? I just want to throw this out here real quick. I was talking to one of my friends, and he was talking about the way he listens to podcasts. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was saying, I listen to them at work all the time because he works on a computer so yeah. he just he, he'd be like yeah i listen to your podcast when i'm working so he just throws his earpods in and then he's just like doing his thing because he doesn't really need to be super present yeah. while working um so i was like oh that's really cool he's like yeah so podcasts for me are the best because I, I can't watch it <laughs> he's a brain surgeon just <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> listening to just like unfiltered <laughs> <laughs> just chuckling as he's really he's trying to cut like something and he just chuckles That's like so Shit. funny. <laughs> um, I only listen to podcasts while driving because it's like the perfect me, amount of time, especially same. coming here and back because it's like a 35 40 minute drive, so it's always perfect uh-huh. amount of time for a podcast, exactly. Yeah, so however it squeezes into your daily life, uh, we appreciate you coming back and yeah, we appreciate the squeezing. Really appreciate you it. You gotta squeeze it. Yeah. You gotta squeeze it. We got a couple new rules for the podcast. Should we give a couple? So our rules are do not lie, do, do not, not steal, steal and, and do not call in sick. Do not call in sick. But okay. We, but we got- No, you can be sick, man. We're kidding. We're kidding. But we got some more rules, but these rules are going to go to the top, okay? Mm-hmm. Y'all ready for the rules? Push them to the front, baby. All right, cool, cool. Rule number one, if it's about me, at me so I can <laughs> see it. What's the rule number two? Rule number two, if you ain't heard shit that didn't come from me, then don't believe it. Because I hate a bitch that gonna post shit and before you see it, she delete it. Uh-huh. When you come to her, she gonna switch it up like, like girl, girl I ain't even really mean it. it. You know what I'm saying? Did you guys make that up? Of course That was not. beautiful. We thought it was like a, a TikTok trend, like some girl said it on a TikTok, but it's actually like a rapper. Big, she's oh, pretty really? good. She's yeah. up and coming. Like she's yeah. killing it right now. Her name is Kaluminati. Yes, Kaluminati. Um, that sounds familiar. Well, Kaluminati, I think, is actually a Tupac album or like a documentary. Right, right, right. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, she's, yeah, she got her name from the Tupac thing. That goes so she yeah. committed thievery. Yeah, a little uh-uh. bit of thievery. See, Inspiration. So I looked up a couple of her stuff, and she's actually really good. It first started because uh, me and Matt posted a TikTok just literally repeating it. Like, we didn't use okay. the audio. We were like, we're going to be different. Let's just say it. And it was it ended up doing really well. Kaluminati saw it. She retweeted it. And oh, she, shit. That's awesome. She posted on her Instagram. Instagram. I didn't even know it was a rapper, but she reposted it. And we, I got really excited. I'm like, oh my God, Matt, she oh, reposted sick. it. I looked up her shit. I really enjoyed it. And I think it's even better that she's just like a young girl. She's like a bad baby. Oh, but yeah. Like, I mean, I'm not comparing that, but like, how she's just she a young girl that raps young. really. And it's just, I don't know. I like connected I gotta, with I got to put a face to her real quick. Yeah. Wait, is we'll it Kaluminati? I feel like it's Kalumanti. It's spelt like that, but the way she pronounces it in her interviews is like Kaluminati. Do you think she just no, spelled it once? Yeah, it's k- k- so Kaluminati, kill. Kill Illuminati <laughs> is anti Illuminati. Oh, oh. it's Illum. So inst- it, yeah, it's Kill- putting a K before Illuminati. I know, but the way she but spells it looks like, like Kill Monty. She but- said, "Kill your man, T." <laughs> <laughs> I ended up DMing her because I just oh. I'm I am no rapper I do not sing at all oh, but if I were to make okay, a okay. song it would be with her with oh, you know just like that style because you know yeah. I just I always <clears throat> just want to do it for fun so I DM'd her and I was like we got to make a song together and she's like I'm so down let's do it oh my god I'm, that's so funny I don't even think she looked me up I I think she just heard us like talk like just make that TikTok yeah. and she was just excited you say that's this really huge I know I know it's huge if you make a song with her so it's like, gonna take like a year is... and a half to make the song probably <laughs> well, well you better do it now while I know. like you know she's on the up and come because next thing you know she's gonna she could be the next Nicki Minaj exactly remember when Nicki Minaj was just 50k for a verse no album out oh and, really oh yeah. remember like in Monster she has that line she's like 50 K for a verse, no album out, and my money so tall, and a 
That's you know? crazy. So it costs that much, and that's not even they—they they don't even need to promote it. They just yeah. being a song. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I heard when, like I, Lil Yachty was on a on a, a rap interview one time, yeah. right when he was just blowing up, and they were asking like, "How much is it for you to have a verse?" He was like, "Oh, like ten k or like ten k, fifteen k." Like, crazy. can you imagine though wow. if you booked people for that much before they're like worth like hundreds and hundreds exactly. of thousands? That's of dollars. crazy. I remember crazy. hearing um. What's what's her name? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, uh, Cardi, Cardi B. B. Cardi B. Right. How the uh, hell did you? It's a brain <laughs> fart. I know it happens. I obviously we know who she is, but uh, she was saying like she only wants cash too when she does like a, a feature. Like imagine so she doesn't have like, to pay taxes. I want hundred k cash. You want me on a song? Mm-mm. You're going to Chase, She's... being like, I need a lot of money. <laughs> uh, so what are we what are we uh, taking out the uh, deposit for today? A hundred k. I'm getting Cardi B on a song. After this episode, she DMs you. She's like, so I heard you spoiled the news to everybody. <laughs> Looks like I'm out. Like I'm she out. goes, And for that reason, I'm out. Yeah. We just got back yeah. from Miami. I love going back home. I love like any excuse to go back home. Okay, so it. we're we're from Fort Lauderdale, and obviously that's like 20 minutes from Miami. Yeah. Um, I've been all through Miami, and I'm always used to it being like super crazy traffic, kind of like sketchy and like just... It, it wasn't my favorite area. Let's yeah. just say that. And this was my first time being in Miami and being like, holy shit, this is amazing. Like really experiencing Yeah, because it. we were we were on uh, Miami Beach. Uh -huh. It was just beautiful. You got the intercoastal and we went out on the boat. It, it was it was so different than any Miami experience I've ever had. Yeah, it's crazy how we've lived there for so long, but we've never ridden a jet ski. Like I've never ridden a jet ski and we got to go jet ski. Yeah, oh, he was day. loving it. Yeah, they were like, hold on. You lived where? I'm like, Fort Lauderdale. Beach, jet ski capital of the world. I know, and I've never touched a jet ski, which is. Crazy. Did you like it? I loved it. It was great. It's really. They're really kind of scary. A little bit. I didn't really want to ride it. I was. Corinna was riding the whole time. I was. Oh yeah, she, I was she was. In, she's out here. Doing, rah, rah, rah. I'm like, okay, girl. She was scary. She wanted me to fly off that thing because I was holding a champagne bottle. Yeah. And she wanted me to fly off that thing, but she was going fast. Before that, we were able to um, get to Miami on a private jet, which was. I know. Insane. They've it looked ridden, crazy. David and all of them, they've ridden a private jet before, but um, I've never ridden one because I just never got to go on mm -hmm. whatever trip it was. And it's unbelievable. And how smooth the flight was because you know I hate flying. Yeah, you said that. I'm so surprised it was because I feel like it would, be, it would be bumpier because it's smaller it's, and you're exactly. like getting tossed around more. The smooth as a baby's mm. bottom. I was so excited. Is it trip. better than like a first class flight? Like, oh, yeah, it, 100%. Okay. Honestly, going back on my flight, like I flew into town, I flew in today, yeah. and just in that seat, I was just like, damn, this isn't private jet. Like, it sucks, <laughs> yeah. it sucks being spoiled like that. Like, you get spoiled and you're like, fuck. We had never flown first class until, like, some of the jobs that we've booked that have, like, yeah. flown us first class. We're like, wow, that changed our life. Like, oh, first class is so much nicer now. Yeah. You're like, you get used to that and you, like, want that every time. Exactly. And it's nice being taken care of, too. Like, they, right. they're really nice. Like, the flights are so nice to you when you're in fucking first and then, class. And then I'm guessing exactly. uh, private jet is, like, another step yeah. above that where you're like, oh, shit. We got there. There was, like, four Lamborghinis sitting out of the private jet because uh, Heath, David, Jeff, and Jason all got a brand deal. Damn. Did you know that the Lamborghinis were going to be there? No, I didn't. You like, didn't, didn't but it. Heath yeah. knew. I knew they were going to be there. So I flew separately. I didn't take the private jet. Uh, my parents were in town and they were going back to like Fort Lauderdale. Okay, right. So I was like, okay, I'm going to fly earlier with them. Um, that's why I didn't fly oh, on the jet. He stays humble. <laughs> but you know, when he when he want to be with his family. Didn't um, so, you yeah. fly first class and then your parents had to fly right? <laughs> oh, 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 busted. Oh, oh, oh. I know. I, I, damn. I felt really bad. Okay, so let no, me let me be clear. Let me be, cut. let me be clear. <laughs> My parents flew out uh, the week before and I actually upgraded their flight. They didn't know it. So I booked them. First class. They had already bought their ticket, but then I bumped it up. They call you, Heath. We we try to check in, and it says we're we're first class. What do we do? And you're like, <laughs> I was like, oh, that's weird. It's like, it's like, bitch, you better enjoy it. That's what you gotta do. Um, so yeah, they were super excited. But then on the way back, um, the brand deal booked my flight, so they got me the first class to go. It's that reality sunk in for your parents. Uh -huh. They said, back to economy. <laughs> your dad, he needs to be in first class because your dad's like eight Huge. foot tall. Yeah, he's he's gigantic he's I just i don't even think he could lay down first class he, no, yeah he even can't. even on because the first class really fit in it, yeah. yeah he couldn't lay down so he just kind of like <laughs> did like the ease back but um, he loved it yeah he was so excited and i i felt bad because they they walked past me on the plane <laughs> i was like oh shit you know oh when you when you watch Bill uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, terrible. Yep. i do really just want to take my family once on a private jet like yeah once, because it's you have to be making fuck you money to be able to fly everywhere in private yeah. jets like it's it's so fucking how expensive. much how much do you think it is to like buy it yourself like if you were like 
I want to go from here to New York. How much is a private jet? That would probably cost like forty to fifty thousand. Wow. But yeah. what's the capacity? Probably like I think it 15? fit like 15 on there. Oh, wow. There was oh so gosh. much space. Oh, my gosh. We so should, so, we should totally yeah. do that. Yeah, we'll just split it. I think the only thing that could be cool and worth it is that you don't have to go through TSA because I hate that about flights. I love TSAs at the same time. Like, I, you fucking pat me down 10,000 times. I don't care. That's the I only get... action he gets. That's why he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. Check my back pocket. I think I'm high. <laughs> Becca's my favorite up in TSA. She always gives me that action. Aw. We fell in love. In <laughs> all. Like... And then what happened after? We got to the hotel. We went up to this club. I forgot what it was called. But we get to the, there's no line there. We're like, all right, let's go in here. And the guy goes, he wouldn't let us in. Oh, yeah, yeah, the first one. Yeah, because it was like 16 dudes and one girl. Like, it yes. was just it was just not a good like ratio. Because, you know, you have to have like a even ratio or yeah. at least more girls when it comes to groups. But our whole group, like, it's because Corona went home. Now uh -huh. he was the only one with us. So it, was, it just did not look good. And the guy's like. 3,000. We're like, three what? We're not to paying get fucking into the club, 3,000. Just to get in. No. Yeah. Entry like, fee. Yeah, exactly. Uh -huh. We're like, we're absolutely not. We're not doing that. And then uh, oh my Jeff, God, Jeff, so pulled the, Jeff pulled the the celebrity card. Yeah. He, he, he doesn't he's, even show us on we, Instagram. He shows Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we look uh, over and he's got his phone we, like this. Okay, but funny. we didn't hear the conversation, but I knew exactly what he was doing because it's been done for a mad zone before. There's there's like there's certain people in our group that's right. done it before just because we just trying to make it work. Just hoping to try to like make something happen. The guy looks down, he looks back up and goes, Oh, we have actual celebrities that come in here. Oh. <laughs> he said Ooh, he me. said P. Diddy. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't remember the last time I heard P. Diddy anywhere. He, he retired, he been retired in Miami or something. <laughs> Oh my God. Is, wait, is he still P. Diddy or is he any Diddy now? Like, I think oh, right. was like oh. Puff Diddy. Daddy, P. Diddy. Yeah. Now Diddy. 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 Right. Well, I would have been like, it's Diddy now, yeah. by the way, not P. Diddy. But I'm, but I'm not trying to say, I'm not saying we're hot shit, but I just, I'm just very surprised that he uh, name dropped. Yeah, his name. It and that, like it wasn't even else. like he like tried to think. It was like P Diddy was inside, like at the moment. Like, um, but then I was thinking, if I was a bouncer and I saw David Dobrik's Instagram, I, I probably wouldn't either. Personally, if I was the bouncer, yeah, I would think this guy's an asshole, and I definitely don't want <laughs> yeah. him to come in here. I'd be like, oh great, ten thousand. <laughs> social media, I don't think it's like a big thing in Miami. Yeah, it's not like Miami's never... like old money, very yeah, like retired rich, hundred percent, yeah. Like doctors. What happened after? So we paid the three thousand and we got it. <laughs> no. uh, what, the weird, what was Plan B? Where'd you? End up I don't know. Where did we? Where did we, we ended end up, up going? going to some other place that we got recommended. Chuck E. Cheese's. <laughs> <laughs> Dave tried, and Buster's. Yeah, try Dave and Buster's. <laughs> We showed up and they were like walking in. I got there like a couple minutes later because we had to take separate cabs. And you guys were walking in and then the bouncer put me in a separate line. Jeff was going in. Everyone was going in. And then he put me and Jonah on the side in a separate line. And I was oh, like. No, it, it was me too. Like David and Jeff like got oh, to right, go. Oh, right, right, right. You were went, there. They went in for free. They didn't have to pay. And then the fat people had to pay. <laughs> <laughs> they, they said, you'll go to this side. And we had to wait there. And like other people were going by. I'm like, I'm not doing this shit. And I That's fucking went home. Wait, Jeff and David got in for free. But we had to pay like 30 bucks each to get in. Oh, I'm so sorry, Zay. I felt really ugly at that moment. Wait, that's Wait, that's when shit like it puts you in check. It's like I know my place. <laughs> like you're with, you, you were with Jonah. Was Jonah wearing like a Rugrats T-shirt though? It doesn't matter. We were categorized with him. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't I'd be matter. Upset, though, if I was... and, you know, and you know, I thought it looked cute. That I <laughs> looked good. I thought it looked good. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not even the fact that like oh we had to be with Jonah. Like we're the same. But it was just like it was just really weird. Yeah. That, like, they separated the three of us. It's so yeah. embarrassing. It's so embarrassing. Ooh, and what else happened that night? I met a guy with six toes. It was unbelievable. Oh, I, I saw the saw story. That. Fucking nuts. I think I was a little too drunk. I think I ended up, like, kissing Sucking on him or something? Like, you were already holding the feet yeah, I was in the like, Instagram. I, was I go, like, oh, wait, oh that's my Zane's God. hand it's on his, that foot. He's sucking on the second pinky. <laughs> yeah, you're like, this little piggy went to the market. This little piggy went to the stove. I was like, this little piggy was uninvited to the party <laughs> because <laughs> bitch, he came. <laughs> and this little piggy went to the sideline with Jonah. <laughs> so the guy came up to you and was like, Zane, Zane, can I get your attention? I have six toes. How did that happen? The guy recognized David. And, you know, if you're a guy with six toes and you know David, you know, you you know, know he's going to want to film it. Exactly. So it, that's exactly what he did, which was so smart. And he immediately takes off his uh, shoes and socks. <laughs> the motherfucker has six toes. I was like, on both oh, feet. On both feet. No, one foot. 
One foot. It looked so natural. <laughs> you know that sucks because that one shoe is always going to yeah. fit so much tighter. Uh, <laughs> I posted it on Twitter and I didn't even say six toes. I just said like I got so ex- like I got too excited about this, and people didn't even see that it was six toes it until yeah. later. Natural. Was it worth thirty bucks to get in? It was not worth thirty bucks. I'm to sorry. Get hold in. on. I got gas. <laughs> oh, you farted. Oh my god. I oh, had too man. many peanut butter pretzels. God damn it. I think it was worth it to me. Think I was six toes. I think I made it worth it. It was like oh shit, something good came out of tonight. Yeah. Tonight. And then <laughs> tonight. <laughs> tonight. And then shit went down south real quick real quick um we had another experience with some thievery oh we thievery. had a home invasion oh we were robbed <gasps> <laughs> a home dun dun. Uh, dun dun yeah put a sound effect there was a burglary <laughs> when was this happening while so, y'all were at the club or no no this is way after we got back to the hotel and me natalie Ilya, and casey neistat he was also with us on the trip we all end up going to the pool in the in the hotel yeah it was a complete empty we didn't think we we're supposed to be in there but like none of the employees like came up to us so we're yeah, like, yeah. oh we're cool there's you like know? a huge i think they have like 15 pools actually like it's like a giant like oh, crazy okay. like a resort yeah. yeah so we go inside the pool and then like you know what let's go to the beach so we leave we go to the beach we didn't really understand that it, that was really dangerous but like we didn't care at the mm-hmm. time with the four of us we thought we were good we take all our clothes off and uh phones and we put everything in a pile we go to the beach we swim for a little you bit you left come the back. stuff at we the did. pool no no in the, no on the beach we come back okay. we grab our stuff like we it was there we were there for like 15 minutes grab our stuff and we go into the pool put our stuff in the cabana and then get into the pool and we we're in there for probably 25 30 minutes and we were, we, when we finished, we went back to the cabana and all of our shit was gone. Oh, our phones, yeah. our wallets, everything. Every, everybody's except for Casey Neistat's because he like did this zipper thing in his pants. Almost like he knew our shit was going to get stolen. Weird. So, of like, course. You, hold on, do you do this I mean, all the time? He's like, yeah, I do this all the time. Like, it's really hard to like get through my zipper. I, I mean, Wait, yeah, you got to be careful. It's re- he hides the zipper after he zips it. Oh, like, so, it into the now we know something. how to rob Casey Neistat. <laughs> like he saw it. That seems like an inside job. I know, right? Maybe, hmm. maybe, maybe it was. Well, he's traveled like internationally, like, right. all across the world. I bet he's, he's also like very smart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he is really smart. As soon as we saw Oliver show song, we got fucking. Phone, oh, Wait, I phones, bet. wallets, what? Phones, like, wallets, everything. Everything in our wallets, our phones, every, like, every, the only thing that was left was our clothes. Like, he just went into our pockets, just grabbed everything, and just. I'm surprised yeah. he like, took the time to, like, sit there and go through. Like, I'm. why didn't he just uh, grab the clothes? Like, just be gone. We assumed it was one of the employees because we only saw employees walking around. We need to look at the cameras. Like, that's yeah. the first thing we need to do is look at the cameras because. We just had a feeling it was one of the employees. And then they were being super like sketchy. They're like, no, we can't show you the footage, blah, blah, blah. We're like, come on, like give us something here. Like, because we're being really annoying at this point. We're like, just give us let us see the footage just so we can leave and like have a little bit of closure yeah, you know yeah. I mean? peace just of like, mind just to exactly. figure it out and if it was one of the employees then you're, you're fucked right but you got to show us the footage and, and they, they just, would not show us the footage that's sketchy so they're like you need to call the police and then sh- we got to show them the footage i'm like what the fuck so natalie ends up calling the police the fact that we had to call the police was so like over dramatic yeah, like, they don't care yeah. about we didn't we, exactly so the like the, the one cop he looks over it's on the guy's phone he looks at the phone and he goes, yep, all right, I've seen enough. Y'all was a guy in a white shirt. He came and took your shit. We're like, okay, that's it? <laughs> like, that's it? That's all you're going to give us? He's like, yeah, I'm sorry, that's it. And I was like, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, how you, we can't just get any information. Like, you, we just want to know if it was one of the employees or not. Like, oh, what I the fuck Matt is Matt was there. Oh. oh, yeah, no, we were, it was, it was. Matt would have put on the, the visor, like, head know, yeah. goggle thing. I into Sherlock if, mode. If we saw 100%. somebody walk from the beach to store shit, we'd have been like, guys, we're yeah. stupid. So when I left the club, I went to go get Dunkin' Donuts, and then I came back, and I was having coffee on the balcony. Yeah. And I was looking over, and I saw the flashlights all through the pool, and I was like, ooh, what's going down down there? Yeah. And then oh. when I woke up the next morning, heard your stuff got stolen, I was like, oh my God, that was it. Like, that was you guys down oh, there yeah. were like wow. some- I wish they would made like a phone case that was like an ink bomb so like when someone like stole your <laughs> like, phone like kind of like a uh, just store go, oops someone's away or someone told me, stole my phone just go boop that's a have good you, idea have you seen yeah. the videos of people like um that get their packages stolen yeah. and, and the package is like a glitter bomb they wait yes. until they get it inside the yeah. car that's that's so f- I love videos like that. Those are my favorite videos. It's so Because, bitch, we do not like thievery. Thievery. We no, do not like thievery. burglars. Exactly. How much did you lose a lot of money? Yeah. And not only... Well, no. I had no cash in my wallet. It was just our cards or our IDs. Yeah. And it sucks because we're flying out fucking a day and a half later. Exactly. So we're like, we were like, fuck, this shit sucks. The next day, I look at my accounts because I couldn't close my, any of my accounts because the cops told us not to close any of the accounts. Why? That night, just they, so they, they try to like track where the people are. But you're not going to, what are you going to guess the next move by exactly, their last and, purchases? And you know what? They didn't give a shit after that. Yeah, but like, they made me not close my accounts. Anyways, I check... 
This motherfucker went on a shopping spree. He went to Foot that Locker, sucks. Home Depot, Walgreens, Walmart, Publix. No he ran well, errands. He ran <laughs> errands. Yes, he, he did his Christmas shopping early, bitch. He said, <laughs> "We got it." Uh, spent three thousand dollars in my account. Wow. Well, How was he able to spend three thousand? And this is that money that got time? You that was use spent. That to get to the club. Yeah, like it wasn't. <laughs> <denied>. <laughs> You're gonna get your money back. It's not like he took the money and like it's gone. Like yeah. the, you're gonna get reimbursed. What sucks is that guy could go out and get all that, sh- and he bought that shit. Yeah, like he just fucking got three thousand dollars worth of shit. Oh, and I just learned yesterday that. It's not the banks that uh, give you your money back. It's the places that were that. Oh were, wait, uh, really? Yeah. So Foot Locker had oh, to man. had to pay me. Publix had to pay me. Every, all these people had to pay me, which is crazy. That I always sucks. thought banks paid that shit. Wow. Does insurance cover that? Like all the companies have insurance yeah. that like for well, that, the fraud. insurance is that they like wow. they get, they have a lawyer. The banks have lawyers that like fight for your money. Mm-hmm. But it's crazy because somebody in all these stores, somebody gets in trouble. So yeah. the person that like. They didn't check for an ID too. Didn't check for ID. Like they get in trouble. Mm-hmm. But you don't think about that shit when your shit gets stolen. Like you just like. But didn't you like, when you realized that your whole wallet had been stolen? Didn't you think like, oh, I should freeze all of my cards? He cops said the said cop told him not cops to. Told me not to freeze my cards. Oh, yeah. so you were like, <laughs> you yeah. Didn't but them. Natalie, Natalie, and Ilya both immediately uh, freeze. Yeah, freeze I, would, cops, I, I just I listened to the cops just mm-hmm. because I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> and I, I just remember the next day the cops were in on it the whole time. They were like, they go, don't, don't, no, no, don't freeze it. Just yeah. Well, let's just see what he what he gets. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, me, Natalie, and Elliot, we all had to just like our, the entire morning, we split up and we all had to go into the store and try to, uh, we we all had to buy new iPhones, uh, just oh, get all of our shit, like handle their cards and everything. Awful. And I and the ID, I had to go to the airport like an extra early just to answer all these questions. Just to, so Damn. Through, yeah. I would love yeah. to work at a resort and just be the ultimate detective. If somebody <laughs> stole it, I'm on the case. Oh my God, I'll be perfect. up till the break of dawn with you guys trying to figure out this uh, crime. Well, like, well, let's get to the bottom of this thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry that happened. No, we're going to go back to the back room. Oh, we're going to look at this footage. That. We'll try it. If it doesn't work, we'll... <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Don't it, worry. It's the closure part that really upsets me. Like, yeah. we, none of us, yeah. we don't we don't know like who this yeah. guy was. And, like, and, oh, shit, I forgot. So that night, we ended up going... We're like, let's go back to the beach. Let's see if we could find this guy because apparently he's wearing a white shirt. So we went to the beach. Zay's going up to every guy in a white shirt. A white shirt in Miami. Me, Ilya, and Natalie, we were like, let's fucking figure this shit out because we're not getting any help. So we went to the beach. It was real. It was like six in the morning at this point. Go on the beach and we start finding our shit. We see a guy a guy far (gasps) away in a white shirt. Yeah, we see a guy far away in a white shirt and we start finding Natalie's shit. Spread no out across the fucking way. way. Yeah. Her empty this. empty wallet. I know. Yeah, right, I know. Right, right. <laughs> Wait, this is so good. Empty wallet. Shit from her wallet. No. Her phone case. We just started seeing shit. So we're like, oh, I might be able to find Oh, yeah. Shit. You feel like you're hot on the trail. No. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> cool. It's like Scooby Doo. There's like footprints on the beach and you're yeah, right. like getting like. And we all, all really around. wanted to walk up to this a guy, clue. but we, we didn't know if this guy had a weapon on him because we oh, really yeah. didn't want to fuck with this guy. Especially in Miami. Exactly. So I stayed there as Natalie ran in to get the cops because the cops were still there because we filed a police report. Yeah. So I was kind of just watching him as. They were getting someone. So back. you saw and the guy. Yeah, he's wearing, he was wearing a white shirt, and we saw he had a flashlight on him, and he was like looking around the beach. So we just he was using your phone. Was. Like, <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah, I'm just looking for him. y'all. Lost a phone too? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now I came back. I don't think the cops cared because they the weren't where, they weren't with her. So. We ended up like losing sight of him. I think he just ran off. But we did but find some knowledge. He found just, little things. What yeah. little things about like lip gloss, <laughs> unimportant, yeah. unimportant shit that like he left behind. David's yeah. disposable yeah. camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, well, can't use these. Like, He's like, he presses it. He doesn't know how to use a disposable camera. Takes a picture face. of himself. We're like, we got him. Oh <laughs> my god. <laughs> wow. That would be so that's good. what happened. We all ended up. We wow. went home and Ooh, I got no right sleep there. because I felt like I felt this like I just couldn't fall asleep. Well, yeah, you were just violated. Yeah, like that's. That's and the you worst were so feeling. close to getting you were literally right there. Oh, yeah. What I don't understand is how they can't go, okay, this charge was made at 1002. Let's go to the store. Security camera. Go to 1002. Boom. You got what the guy looks like. I know. Yeah. There's theft that happens all I, the time. I just remember seeing a text the next day on my computer because I opened my laptop the next morning and all these texts came in. And a text from David going, We'll give you this much money. I forgot what the amount was. <laughs> That's like, so thou- funny. We'll give you an Instagram shout out. It was like a thousand dollars for um all of our shit, uh, uh, phones and wallets, no questions asked. Like we'll meet up with you, thousand oh, dollars. And I thought 
it was like a cruel joke he was playing on me. So I was just like, fuck you, dude. Like, what is this? And then I saw the time, I was like, oh, he texted us last night when I shit got stolen. Aww. That's funny. Yeah. What happened with the you and Ilya shorts that you got scammed? Oh, oh my <laughs> God, that's so funny. Okay, so we went, so um, the next day, we we're like, let's let's have a nice pool day before going on the yacht. So me, Casey, and Ilya, we go downstairs to the, to like a men's, they have like a, a store like in the bottom of the hotel. We walked in. We're like, ooh, okay. You have this in lar- extra large, large, cool. We bought it. We didn't think. We just didn't think it would be expensive. <laughs> and we usually they tell you the price before you buy it. But this bitch, she ran our card and then told us the price after. No returns, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> the card. No, awful. We're in the card. She goes, okay, guys, that was five oh two. We're like, five five oh two. For two. We're like, we only shorts. got two shorts. She was like, Where oh were y'all yeah, sh- shopping. It was at the it hotel, like the just hotel. a store at the bottom. Oh no. And we're like, what? And me and Elia look at each other. We're like, dude, we're we're broke right now. Our wallet is gone. We should not be spending <laughs> five hundred dollars on two shorts. Swim <laughs> trunks or it, it, shorts. I, I'm gonna be honest. No offense. They were the ugliest shorts I've ever seen in my <laughs> oh, life. Hotel lobby like stuff is they always were, like they were cheap. <laughs> and Ilya's was it, apparently his was like the the deluxe version. So his was a hundred dollars oh. extra. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Nothing special okay. about these shorts. Mine so was, his was 300, yours was 200. Yeah. Did you try to return them? Like, right when you saw it was no. 500, and then she was like, oh, no returns. Like, <laughs> <laughs> did, that, did that interaction go down? Yeah, she, and she knew she hit her goal, too. She was like, hit yep. my goal today. I'm off work now. She's closing the gate, like, after. Like, <laughs> y'all have a good night. <laughs> she definitely hit her goal for the day. And Casey paid for it, too, because her walls were gone. So we're like, Casey, we're so sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, no. He, bought, he was my sugar dad. He bought my phone. He bought my. Uh-huh. He bought all my shit that day. It's so funny. Uh, the the next night at one of the clubs we were at, I saw you like go up to him. You're like, "Can we get this?" <laughs> and I was like, "Oh my god, Zane!" <laughs> he's he's. And then I see Casey pull out his card, and he's just like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh, I funny. felt like he felt good about it too." He's like, "Yep, I got it." <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's too funny. So, funny. so do you owe Casey money, or is he? Oh yeah, I, I owe him. I owe him for uh, a new phone uh, and iPhone. Those shorts. those shorts were almost as much. Is my fucking phone. Oh, <laughs> God. Crazy. Um, but yeah, that was that was our weekend. Then the, the um us on the yacht, that was so much fun. That was really nice. The yacht was amazing. Yeah. The kid that actually whose yacht it was was the, the kid that took David and all of them to the horse race. Isn't oh, that really? weird? It was yeah. like a just a friend's boat. It wasn't like a, a rented it out. Like well, yeah. it, his or, mom <clears throat> runs like a charter business. Okay. Yeah, so they just like hooked it up. Oh, it was nice. Really nice. Very nice. It was really re- very good. What very was the good. name very of it? Good. Do you remember the name of the boat? Oh, shit. Now that's something you uh, really I know. Fucking I'm care like, about. Oh, oh, we're like, on the oh. martini <laughs> <laughs> in Miami. I used to look up like boat pun names. Yeah, we always like. I, I know. I'm always the person on the dock, like seeing boats and be like, "What would you guys name your boat?" Like, like Titanic Two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All aboard. All aboard. I like big boats, and I cannot lie. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. There we go. Uh, you say close the door. <laughs> <laughs> Out the door. Oh, we haven't done that. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> I eat my chipotle with a fork. <laughs> He said, we going to make a pillow for. <laughs> <laughs> Did you jump off the boat? Did anything like crazy? I thought you were going to add on to the uh, what we're doing. I know. Well, I don't know. No, I'm a Matt said abort. <laughs> he said I'm abort. <laughs> Zane paid $500 for a pair of shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I go to church so I can praise the Lord. Oh! <laughs> Are these still boat names? Or are we just out <laughs> Zane, Zane told the hotel, I'll see you in court. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> this, uh, stealing is that guy's sport. <laughs> oh, that was mine. Um, <laughs> Matt over there looking like a dork. <laughs> I love this song. Um, no, no, sorry, sorry. So, Corinna's, Corinna's uh, character in the vlogs is a whore. <laughs> oh, stop, stop. I can't do I any like, more. I like the song Royals by Lord. <laughs> there you go. He's, he's trying. That's all right. No, that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> it's his first time. Say, Matt it. came in short. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. No more. No more. No more. <laughs> <laughs> no more. No more. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm going to be like, what? Like, yeah. I don't even know what it is. Uh, yeah. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> we started doing it one night when we were driving. It, it was, was like a mess. It was 2 a.m. We were tired. We were, we were dying. <laughs> we were tired. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> what? What? We were tired. Ta- oh, ooh. oh, that was stretch. <laughs> Oh, you know where I was going to cut uh, that shit out too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whenever she looks bad, it's cut, but we Which look bad. She, she, she's making marks on the uh, audio right now. <laughs> <laughs> she right. said, do not play around with that fucking mic because we will lose that she shit. She over there taking the plug out of the port. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> um, but yeah, the the boat was amazing. It was it was so much fun. Okay, enough with the boat. I like boats. Okay. Are you guys excited for the uh, KSI and Logan Paul fight? Well, by the time this episode comes okay, out, the people okay. will already First know the winner. All, but are you going to the fight? I, no. So uh, is this like feud real or I, is it well, fake? What pisses me off is the first fight. Yes. I oh, that was weird. That. What, what happened? They, like, they, ma- they, purpose- or- they made it a tie knowing it was going to be a tie did just you, so they you, could you, fucking there, do another one. Yeah, proof. Is that like what actually happened? You, yes. Yeah. I don't know. I was very... It was off-putting. Yes. Their feud looks very real. I like, liked the fight. The fight was amazing. I thought it was great. They were both like... You know, they were both working really I hard. I was watching like a real fight. Like, that yeah. Was, it was pretty good. I know. I watched some Snapchat I was so into it and I was... I was so disappointed when I saw that they called it a tie yeah, just so we, they could do a rematch. The we bought the fucking live thing on my account. Mm-mm. Is it a tie? What? If it ties again, I swear to God. Uh, I will see YouTube in court. Court? I'm going to get my court? money back. Um, um, who do you think is going to win? I don't know. I, I, feel, I feel like Logan Paul is just I like... Think. Dude, he's been training. He's, a, he's a Gregor. Oh, what's, what's that fighter? Uh, McGregor? Greg, McGregor. McGregor. He's like the McGregor. You know, so he, t- he, he talks but a lot. But McGregor didn't win. McGregor got his ass oh, beat in the last no. fight. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, he did. You, didn't he did. you guys go to the we were fight? There. We, were were there. There. Yeah, we were there. We were there. Well, that one, but then he also fought. Uh, what's the but other he guy? Won. He had or like the... Mayweather or oh no. Pacquiao. No, 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 no. Oh. Um, after that whole boxing fight, oh, but McGregor somewhere. ended up losing to God. How am I drawing a blank? He he Khabibi. wore like the uh, yeah Khabibi. Khabibi. Oh yeah. Um, People kept sending me screenshots of him because they said that I looked like him, so I remember that. Oh, okay. <laughs> if we vlogs, what had like. Uh, like a fight like that like who would be the people that we would Scott like Scott and Todd Scott. but who would oh, win yeah, wait Scott and Todd if we have Scott and Todd who's gonna win that's a tough Ooh. one but if Todd's in a bad mood then Todd <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I feel but like if- Scott is more brute strength and will fucking like yeah he's scary S- Scott yeah, yeah but he- also Todd is super into jujitsu and has a insane mixed martial arts background. And his, so like, if, his energy too, like yeah. he could drink all night and wake up hungover shit and do that whole runyon, do the whole runyon, run runyon, like run it, not even like walk, run it. Uh, what about Je- Scott or Todd? Jeff and or Jeff and Ilya. Jeff. Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Really? Wow. But I feel like Ilya Jeff, could bring it down. I feel like, I, Ilya, no, I feel I like think... is he's very stocky, and I feel like he'd be pretty good. It's just the reach that Jeff has. He's so much taller. Yeah, me and Ilya <laughs> I, mean, like, have, like, I can't quick. believe we're the Joe Rogan podcast right now. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> no, man, he could really bring it. Well, but, well no, have you Ilya... seen his last two fights? I mean, he's coming out there strong. He's, he's got a 92%. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like Jeff would just be like, don't hit my face. Don't hit my face. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he'd be dodging. He'd never get hit. Exactly. Okay, what if it was... Todd and Jeff versus Scott and Heath. But Heath Scott. is not a fighter. Wait, <laughs> yeah, Todd and Jeff. Heath, if something pisses Heath off and he's in the moment and something really happens, like you would put fight. up a good fight. You yeah. would put up a good fight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good fight. I'm just saying. It. I'm just saying. We've been into a fight before. Like not me and Scott, like with each other, but that's what I'm saying. I hear the fights that you've been in. Oh and, my like, god, that fight was. Fu- Dude, we were. This is that how, was this the cra- terrible. No, no, but I we mean, were. No, let's no, no, let's talk about it. No bar names. We can't. We can't mention yeah. the bar because we still go there. But I mean, we didn't start it. Like Mm-mm. we would never. Like, we do not start shit like that. Like we don't fight. We don't like fights. We don't like being involved in anything like that. It just literally came out of nowhere. Kristen's co-worker's boyfriend. Okay. One of the workers bumped into his girlfriend. Yeah. He got pissed and was like, "Watch where you're going." That guy working there got pissed at him. Started talking shit with that guy. Then they took it outside. Yeah. Scott goes outside and was just going out there. Saw what was happening. Was like, "Yo, guys, stop, whatever." Yeah. And then a whole bunch of the other people that were in the bar that were friends with the bouncers all, all came up. out, came up to Scott and were like starting shit with Scott. <clears throat> I was inside at the time. Uh, our other friend was there and was like, "Yo, Heath, Scott's about to get into a fight outside." And I was like, "What are you talking about?" Yeah, there's no way. So we go walking outside to look, and sure enough, some guys in Scott's face. I was Uh-oh. like, "Holy shit, this is about to go down." And it was gonna go down because you should have seen these guys. These guys were fucking they stocky. Were, they were they big. were going crazy. Yeah, and like they were not gonna leave without a fight. Like you could tell, you could tell in their eyes. Like you, you just know. Yeah, when people are like. They're gonna. They're they gonna, wanted it. They, they wanted it. Yeah, like exactly. that, You oh, could tell those I are the guys that are that looking for a fight. Yeah, they hate. Fight. And it, so it was like, not a fair like. We, we were outnumbered. We, we were, were so outnumbered. outnumbered. And like it was me. And <laughs> like, <laughs> like, come on. It was so. So the guy. The guy is like looking at Scott, and he's like yelling at Scott. He's like in his face. And I saw this. And I come running over, and I go up behind him, and I put him in a chokehold. I was like, stop. Fucking stop right now. Put Scott in a joke no, or the I, guy. The, 
<laughs> he put Scott. In <laughs> like, I'm like, like Scott. No, the yeah. guy. He's he's looking at Scott and he's like this and he's like getting ready to hit Scott and I ran up and I just choked him up real quick. I was like, fucking stop. We're not gonna fight. And he's going like this and he's punching me like <laughs> I'm I'm holding him like this and he's reaching back hitting me like this. I'm like, hit me again. I'm gonna fucking put you out. And he just keeps going like this and I just go out. I tightened it and he just goes limp <gasps> and then. I see his that friends come it. running. That I'm still it. holding his limp body, and his <laughs> friends are running out at me. I was like, oh, fuck. Here it goes. I threw him down, and it just fucking went down Blackout. right there. I, I swear to God, like, we all... It was... At this point, when you did that, the people that were outside were me, you, Scott, Kristen, and... Corey. And Corey. Corey. Uh, Corey is the guy who shoots all of Scott's uh, Music shit. videos. Corey, was Corey there? yeah. He... <gasps> Poor fucking thing. He got hit right in the he's, face. He's wearing glasses. <laughs> His shit got popped. I was like, oh no. no. These guys were throwing hands. Like even in fights, like Dude. I don't, I don't want to throw punches. I'm just not. That I would type just of go person. to possum. I'd be like, <laughs> but <laughs> no. asleep. At You're this, sleeping next to the guy I put out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, and it got to the point where they were hitting Kristen too. Like they were, they were hitting people fucking hard because yeah. they, were, they were just trying to kill everybody. I grabbed his leg and it literally pulled him like cool. that. And Kristen and me just started beating the, like, it was like, cause these guys weren't stopping. They it wanted didn't us end. dead. I literally took this guy and I threw him on the street. Like, just to stop him because he was hurting people. He was just yeah. hurting everybody. Scott was getting his shit wrecked. You were, everybody, Dude, like, I just, I, just I, remember, I kept looking around and I was like, oh my God, this <laughs> shit is going down. It and felt it was, like a dream. I remember, like, after that, I put the guy down and then his buddies came running. It was straight up, it was like a hockey fight. I remember yeah. we had each other by the collar and we were just, boom, and we're both eating them. Just <laughs> literally sat, like, sat here like if I was to grab Zane and he was to grab me. And we're just hitting <laughs> each other, but nobody's knocking out. Yeah. We were just straight going at it. And I was like, holy fuck. Finally, I look over, I see Zane, Scott, and everybody doing their thing. And I was like, holy shit. Scott's going to the ground, hitting people in the street. It just didn't. And yeah, you know when Kristen's like hitting, you know the shit's serious. Cause like Chris, like I've never seen Kristen in a fight. Oh, like, yeah. Yeah. Kristen doesn't like I have a video, I think, of Kristen. Do you remember the guy who spat at Scott one time? We were walking out of Soda Ranch and some guy there was workers working, like they were putting shit in a truck, like they were working, and this guy fucking spits in his <gasps> like spits at him. Oh fuck. And we we're like, oh fuck that. <clears throat> this guy ends up or Bree uh, Bree, one of Kristen's friends, she starts like Really just like, fuck yeah. you, who the fuck do you think you are? This guy grabs this, this sign that was on next to Saddle Ranch. It's huge. It's heavy. Oh, shit. Heavy. He fucking, it's like, have you ever seen the video of the girl the, uh, in the cafeteria fight? The girl grabs the lunch table and throws it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looked like. He grabs the sign and throws it at Bree. And we're oh. like, oh shit, I don't know if it hits her or not. Like, what? I have video footage of this that I have to like surface. Okay, try yeah, to find yeah, it, yeah. but like almost hits her, and like everybody's like, fuck that. We all start running after this guy, and cops end up getting him and like arrest him. But like, this shit just happens around us. Like, we don't. It's the thing, like, people like are looking for shit. They, yeah. They want to make somebody mad. They want to like start a fight. Like, the guy who ended up punching Scott in David's video. Yeah. Oh, I, I wasn't even there. I didn't even know what that happened. That guy there. just wanted to fight. It doesn't matter how drunk I am. I, I will never, like, there's never a point where I want to fight somebody. Yeah. Who do you think would win, Carly or Aaron? <laughs> oh, oh Aaron, 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 Aaron. Aaron. I mean, Aaron, I would love 100%. for Carly to win. I would love for her to win. Why would you want her to win over Aaron? Why do you want her to <laughs> beat Aaron's ass? for her self-esteem to know she could do it. <laughs> oh, she's so little. No, but you know, no, I, I feel like Aaron... Would talk a lot, but I feel like it would still, it would be a good fight. Funny Aaron seems like, like the type of girl who would who would grab the hair and just <laughs> <laughs> straight up, like, you know what I mean. It wouldn't be like full. It would just uh. honestly, I would I, I I would hate to see it, but I would love to see a brawl. Everybody, just a brawl, not a super like, Smash not, Brothers not, vlog not squad, each, not to each other, but just like. In a situation like that, well, do you that remember? Night, but... in, yeah, like in high school, we used to do like the friendly fades. Oh, it, yeah. Like at house parties, it would be all the friends hanging out and they'd be like, fight night. <laughs> and we're like, what? Dude, that was oh, some yeah. Florida ass shit. You I guys just did, remember. We would have like these fight nights where like people, like you, there would be like a, like a, yeah, a straight a up, yeah. And friends would just fight. It never ends well. It never ends <laughs> yeah, well. Friendly, fa well. friendly fades never work out because somebody <laughs> hits a little bit too hard and the next thing you know, it's just... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You can only fight if you have to defend yourself. Like, actually, if you need to. Like, instinctively, it'll just mm -hmm. come out of you and you'll yeah. black out. Cool. 
Fun. What about if Natalie and Mariah got in a fight? Hmm. Mariah would just cartwheel. I, <laughs> no, yeah. no, you know the girl that's like fighting and she does like the bing, the like. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be like. You guys have seen the video of the fucking crazy lady that goes up to the car and she's like, my kid, well, my, my kids can't Here's hear me. They're the listening to big K-pop. kids, Bob. She'll oh, set, sorry. An, set an example. I'm sorry. My kids can't hear me calling you a bitch. Your window's open. They can't hear me because they're listening to kids bop. She so just good. showed that to me last night. I could not believe it. <laughs> it's so a, I love a good weird. public freak out. Like, I love a good freak oh, yeah. out video. This is gold. This is the best one of 20. <laughs> oh, 100%. You know she's crazy. Like, you know how she is, like, all the time. Just her face. Did you see the caption? The Karens of all Karens. <laughs> 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 so good. But explain it. Kids bop. Wait, but explain it to the people who are not familiar So, with I, I don't, what, like, I think there's, the situation there's no, was. Like, there's no story building up to it. It's kind of just, uh, from the perspective of, of being in the car looking out the window at some crazy lady like leaning her head in I think they took her spot or like th- there was a spot open yeah. and like, these guys took it first so she got pissed mm-hmm. got out of the car and confronted these people <laughs> and the girl and, in the back apparently told her to calm down and that's what set her off <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> that's that's every crazy lady's like trigger when you tell Just, a crazy person to calm down that's when they go even crazy yeah oh, 100% yeah. Oh. who's the lady in the apple store that's like with the carriage I, I was told by Apple Care. I was told by Apple Care that I could get the part. I was told by Apple Care that I could walk in the store and get the part. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Oh, I thought you said that you were going to walk in the store. And it's just like silent, like right after that moment where it's like, uh. Were you there or was it you there? Where It, it was a lady just like that, but we, it was at, in Chili's and she was with her kids. Oh. And she was being so passive aggressive to her kids. Oh, she was like. Was it you? Was yes, it? I was with you. Okay, Matt and I looked at each other and was like, couldn't believe it. Like these kids don't understand that this mom is being passive aggressive. Or like, like uh-huh. just like kind of like really rude to them. Like really, really rude. And then just like really kind of sweet like two <laughs> minutes after. And then like really, really mean Do you remember? Remember what she like said because it was crazy hearing oh, it. I know. I wish I could remember. Oh, I don't want to spend too much time trying to think about it. But well, oh, but it, it was just mom who was just like every five minutes just was just, just snapping being really her nasty mood. to her kid when the kid wasn't really the kid doing wasn't anything being wrong. Bad. And then she'd be super sweet and confuse the kid. But at the same time, like I remember being a kid and I would say something that I didn't think was bad or anything, yeah. and I remember just getting my shins kicked <laughs> over <laughs> and over <laughs> under the table. My mom would give me this look. It'd be like this. It'd be like this. And she would just oh, God. jab my freaking shin, and I'd be like, oh, you can and I would just I'd that. shut down, and I'd just be done. You can never do that now. Like, I'm, I'm glad, I'm honestly glad that we were disciplined like that as kids. Yeah. Like, I feel like I would be a... You were spent? That's were the thing, I didn't, I didn't know what I did, but I just... <laughs> you'd behave. Like, yeah. I, like, I'm not saying that you we should abuse our kids, but like... You could, oh, I've like, got no problem with corporal punishment. <laughs> hey, I got no problem, problem smacking, smacking him in the head. <laughs> <laughs> School of Rock <laughs> reference. Oh, we do not use corporal punishment. punishment. Okay, so verbal abuse? Verbal abuse? Verbal abuse? <laughs> oh, I got my ass beat as a kid. But like, like now, like being older, I'm like... It really taught me to not fucking Wait, do it again. Wait, you got your ass beat as a kid. What do you mean by that? Spanked? Oh, oh you, have you ever got your ass beat with a belt? I got the no. belt before. Oh. I was never even spanked. You what? Privilege. You privilege. It, it, show, it, was like, it shows. It shows. It, exactly. This, this was Matt. This was Matt's dad. Matt got his books taken away. <laughs> <laughs> that was no, his. No books for a night. No, no speech class. No speech class. <laughs> no speech class. For me, like, I, I was sucking my thumb. <laughs> So she was trying to get me to stop sucking my thumb. So one time she chased me with a steak knife and told me she was going to cut it off. <laughs> this is your mother? Oh, my God. Mother. Your mother's a sweet lady. <laughs> like, I, I don't no, they all, and they all end up turning sweet when you get older. My mom was just telling me, um, my little sister and little brother, they go to a very private, like, very it's expensive a, it's, school Yeah, it's now. a nice school. But they don't pay for them. They actually get a huge discount because their dad works. I mean, he's the head of security. Yeah. And, because um, their brother Zayn Hijazi. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't pay for school. <laughs> he does a few swipe ups for free tuition. <laughs> <laughs> they, oh, fuck. The things they experience at that school is fucking nuts. They, these kids are spoiled little no brats. Way. They all have Gucci bags. Like it's it's fucking crazy. It's like and LA kids. The, yeah, they'll hire like Shaq 
to show up at these kids' birthdays. It's like Sweet 16 shit. Yeah. What? But it's like, they're paying these people like 250, 300K just to show up. Like they have, oh, these people fuck you money. So it's funny. It reminds me of Big Little Lies, that show. Yeah. Where I feel like my mom's now just involved in that scene where she's just like, I fucking hate Is it. Is she part of like PTA? <laughs> she, I, she, I think she's trying to like, it's, I feel like she feels like it's a competition because like if oh, she doesn't wow. show up to shit, like then her kids don't get, uh, uh, they're, they're not. Uh, they don't get the attention. That exactly. Yeah. So they don't get like you know, a lot of attention, especially like Madison's really good at what she like. I think she plays rugby now or Your lacrosse. Lacrosse. Oh. lacrosse. Yeah. She's really good at it, but she's benched a lot because these, my mom's not paying uh, uh, cash uh, like these other. That's how it uh, always uh, is. That's this shit happens crazy. all the time though. Every celebrity, they're, they're like, they're, they just, they pay for their kids school. Like, and, that's, nepotism. It's, and yeah. guess who didn't get to play? Well, no nepotism. <laughs> but I didn't get it. Guess who did? A little nepotism. I didn't. I didn't know what that meant until you told me either. Yeah. So if you don't know School of Rock, there's a line where he's talking about when he auditioned. And I for nailed the, the audition, dish, but, but I didn't get, get it. Part. Guess who did? Yo Yo Ma's cousin, Lil Nepotism. So I always thought, and he yeah. thought, well thought too that uh, Yo Yo Ma's cousin's name was Lil Nepotism. But what it means is a little nepotism, and nepotism really is like funny. favoriting yeah. those who uh, are like. He like abbreviated his word. Yeah, so. little nepotism. Nepotiz. But it was like it's nepotism. <laughs> wow, the no things idea. you learn. <laughs> oh, <I love laughs> the more that. you fucking learn, I don't know. But um, what, what was I getting at? Oh, she's been like, kind of apparently like mouthing a little bit like to my mom, and my mom like snapped one day where she would like grabbed her hair and was like get, like threw her in the room. But like since that day, this was like two years ago. But since that day, never talked back to her. I but think it, it literally it just takes that one time. I remember I got the belt one time from my dad, and that was it. Like yeah. I didn't do it again. Mm -hmm. And you don't because yeah. this shit fucking hurts. Like now like, kids now kids just get their iPods taken away. I've seen like I, I see parents the way they treat their kids now, and like I'll, like I said iPods really, like people have iPods. It's crazy, no, it's but the like the way the kids are treating the parents, the way the kids yes. talk to their parents. The <clears throat> The girl yesterday that she asked for a picture. Yeah. Her, she goes, mom, take the picture. So the mom like couldn't, she was like, there's no storage. And, and she goes, take it on Snapchat. And then was, save oh. it. Like <laughs> telling her mom what she's doing wrong. Like these kids are like raising the parents and the parents are listening. Like the mom's like, oh, I'm sorry. No. Because they don't now, want their kids to My mom to would be them, like, yeah. now no picture. Yeah. Sorry. That's crazy. They are talking to their parents this way. It makes me nuts. so mad with seeing shit like that. Like, I hate it. Those are your fucking parents. Like, n like now being 27, my parents are everything. You yeah. know, like yeah. these kids run so the household. Mad. It's so scary. It's, it's so scary. It's really weird. It's these damn TikTokers fucking run a shit. Mm -hmm. And even yeah, like the TikTokers who are saying like and doing the shit with the parents in the videos. I'm like, I would never. Oh yeah, they go to their like, parents. You bust up the up and then I tell her bring it back. Like my mom. Would be like, <laughs> if if I played bust that pussy open to my no, mom no. at at ten years old, yeah, she no, would I mean, humor like that. I would I would do, but like not when they're fucking sixteen years old. It's it's, it's, it's really weird gross. To their dad. Yeah. It like, is what are you weird. Doing? There was this one TikTok that I found, and it sounded just like he so oh, weird. Oh, identical. Mariah, what? have you it's seen it? The vlog squad group chat. Oh, you sent it here. On there. Mariah, once no, again, here, I'm not in the vlog squad group chat. Oh, you're not. Day. 300 of wow. not being in the vlog this whole time I, well you're there <laughs> well, in spirit because i didn't realize you weren't part of it yeah but. I'm not. it sounded exactly i was like okay, holy guys, shit guys just listen to this what and i got a camera too what you okay, just good. cussing I'm me out you, you were just cussing me out what i'm about to do you're not you you're not nobody special how no. weird is that it's crazy wow. say it say it what and i got a camera too yeah wow. crazy that's like that is. I was. I thought it was Heath at first. It also kind of reminds me of uh, the ca not Catch Me Outside. What was it? Oh, we got a rapist out here oh, at yeah, Lincoln yeah. Park. Park. He's clamming Antoine in your Antoine Dodson. Antoine, Antoine. Yeah. Yes, that's what it was. That's He's an old school video. Up. Oh, and he, he. Oh, he made his debut on Logan Paul's Airplane Mode movie. Yes, he did. Yes, he okay. That was like that was, a, that was a, a, the only other time I ever saw him was in that movie. I miss when stuff like that would go viral. Oh, I feel yeah. like I mean, that they doesn't still happen. Do. They still do. Scarlett takes a tumble. Hide your kids. <laughs> hide your wife. Um, oh but I wonder God. if that person whose voice you sounds like that you sound like. Or they sound like you? Like, do they get told, like, you sound like he? <laughs> oh, you know what? I haven't even looked at the uh, comments. I bet you in the comments. Yeah. What? And I got a Karen with Sue. <laughs> <laughs> the Dylan Francis song that came out, everyone thought Everybody. it was Everybody. Oh, yeah. I saw That's I saw funny. comments. That, so that weird. Wait, Everyone's what's like, the Dylan he? Francis thing? The, um, his new the, his song. new one he just came out with. Paul. Ain't nothing to it, but, but to, to do, do it. it. Oh, the voice sounds just Everybody like you. Everybody was like, holy you shit, is You could have done it. 
I mean, he did it perfectly, but like, don't almost sound like you. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Yeah. Zane and Heath. And mm-hmm. Heath and yeah. Heath. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we should make a new one for season two. Like, yeah. Like, make it really new everything, huh? Could you imagine if we got Bad Baby to make our intro song for season two? <laughs> She'd be like, 50K. <laughs> no, she said 50K and then demonetize all of her videos. Yeah, I know. Claims all of her videos. Yeah, unfil- unfil- unfiltered. Hey. <laughs> yeah, no, new song, new cast members, new everything. Let's close this out. Uh, thank you again, guys, for tuning in to Zane and Heath Unfiltered. Uh, we post the podcast video version of this every single Tuesday. Tuesday. If you don't know, um, it's on our YouTube channel, youtube.com backslash Zane and Heath. An audio version is every Monday on mm-hmm. all of them platforms like Spotify, Google, Android, podcast app, and all that good stuff. Th- that was good. You're getting smoother with it. <laughs> smoother, <laughs> he smoother. holds his breath every yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Guys, please leave a review. You guys are kill you guys leave so many reviews every podcast, which is incredible. So mm-hmm. keep doing that. It gets us up on the app. It gets more more people to find us. Exactly, baby. And you guys, every podcast that we post you guys they're, they're they're better comments they're better yeah comments every time we post we think we're getting better but it's just like <laughs> the people are just being nicer to us <laughs> um but yeah thank you guys so much for tuning in we really appreciate it hope you guys you know got a good little head start in your morning um, yeah whatever time you're listening where you're listening go ahead and enjoy the rest of your day and we love you guys thank you guys again we love you so much and everybody say bye 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 bye